My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I am viewing Montclair Par Homme et Parfum. The top notes are Alpine Green Accord, Cedarwood, Mountain Woods Accord, creating chill bearing garms since the 1950s. Garms, garments. Italian born Montclair has a heavy tradition of fighting the great outdoors, breezy climbs. Ugh, climates. With this heritage under its belt, it would only be right that its first fragrance represents masculinity mixed with the freshness of mountains. The Pour Homme Air de Parfum captures a woody, aromatic scent combined with the energizing freshness of clary sage. I love clary sage. I was looking at it yesterday in my fridge and I was thinking, I really kind of want to do something with that. Anyway, and then a leafy expanse of mountain pines. This special fragrance is housed in a flask that mimics the label's famous puffers with added LED screen. I think the LED screen is the large one. This is devoid of an LED screen. I feel tricked. Do we have our bottles of Montclair? Are we engaged with a higher self? Let's get testing. Just wanted to check because it was going on about LED screens that I got the notes right. This bottle is 60 mil and it's 76. 100 mil is 113 and 150 mil is 170. So this is 76 pounds for 60 mil. Let me just check the notes again. Cedarwood, Clary Sage and Vertifair. Very good. So with pine notes, I wanted to talk briefly about that. I have two degrees and in my first degree it was in cosmetic chemistry and we did one year of perfumery. And I remember the perfumer talking to us about pine and they said pine like raw materials, synthetic, smell like toilet cleaner. And they did something called headspace analysis, which is I've never seen it, but I kind of imagine it's like a box and there's air vents going through and the computer tells you what all compounds are within this space. And they did that within a pine forest and they got something that smells of a pine forest as opposed to pine, which can smell of pine toilets. I wanted to say that because that came into my head. I don't know what to expect. A bit sad it doesn't have the little LED screen because what fun you could have putting rude swear words on there which of course I wouldn't do. Light, airy, this is gonna do well. This has uh, got light airiness to it. Very, very light, sort of weightless, which is like uh, those fragrances always do well. Isu Super, Hedy Own, Sea Doll. Clean white musk help to give support and elegance to this formulation. Ambroxin, Ambrotolide, Kashmir, and is giving that cold lift and airiness to it. What is really apparent and sticking out for me is a raw material called under Cavanel. And under Cavanel smells, on paper, it's always different to how you perceive it. This says linen blossom, or it can be used to smell like cucumbers or kiwis. It gives that sort of green feel, but I can really detect it in this. Very, very nice. Cedarwood and clary sage. Clary sage smells, it's got like a tea-like quality to it. When you mix it with lemon and elm leaf, it's very, very nice. It gives like a sharp tea quality. Clean, very clean. It has the aquatic aroma chemicals in, sweetening it with Kumara to just give dry sweetness to it. On to my final thoughts. I really like it. I think it's very nice. I think it's it's uh, going in a different take in a different direction. It does smell outdoorsy, it does smell sort of piney, it does smell fresh and invigorating. It's surprisingly substantial and robust. It's lovely and green. So I go through my marks of you at the box, safe, legal, compliant. So it means the company is super professional. The money, really worth the money. I think it's really good, well-constructed perfume. The airiness and the lightness in it smells similar and not the same because people pick my brains about this, so it's not the same. But that sort of light, airy, clean punch was in that teddy bear fragrance. That had a really good clean projection. I love that, I thought that was very, very good. This is completely different, but has that clean punchiness to it. And that is how it sort of constructed this sort of similar. So if you like that, this is really interesting. The occasion, I think it is a really good day fragrance. I think it's a signature fragrance. I think it's good to go to the office or go to the sort of the bar or do something. It's not super projected to make it a clubbing fragrance or a date fragrance when you want to sort of impress. But I think it's a nice fragrance to wear when you want to get up and smell fresh and clean. That's what I'd recommend it for. 
demographic youthful, 20 to 30. It smells quite simplistic, if I'm honest with you, and I think that you're going to get bored of it quite quickly. So I think it's this is going to be for people which like rotation of uh, fragrances. So they're using different ones for each day and they could have kind of rotate the whole thing this is what it's going to be brilliant for but i kind of think if you've got more of a sophisticated nose i think this is not going to be for you i'm going to mark it an eight out of ten nothing wrong with it but just not for me it just smells a little bit too simplistic for my liking but i kind of do like it at the same time eight nine tens of that end is for something where i go oh my god this is amazing incredible and this i kind of think smells unique but like quite a few other things that I could assimilate. So we love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands, lots of fragrance views. Hope you're safe and well. See you soon.